so hello everyone welcome to this video and in this video i will be explaining the problem to sum the third variation of the to sum problem and it is a data structure design problem and definitely not an easy one so in this video uh, first i will explain you uh, this data structure thing so that you will never face any problem while solving these kind of problems for i will explain using the whiteboard and then uh, we will code it okay so once you understand the concept you will be easily able to solve this problem so let's get into the problem so the problem is saying that we have to design a data structure uh, in which we can add any number and if we call the find method on that data structure we will uh, uh, we will get in return true or false that uh, like for example 4 we find 4 we will get that uh, if in the data structure there are two numbers whose sum is equal to uh, 4 or not we will get true or false okay so this sounds this these kind of questions uh, i find a little bit i find them non intuitive but let's understand so what is a data structure okay so for example take the example vector okay vector is a data structure okay you all agree with me so a vector has several methods on it okay for example v dot push push back so what this uh, if you uh, make a vector uh, ob uh, vector object uh, v uh, if we uh, call v dot pushback method on let's say 4 it will add 4 in the vector okay if we call v dot size okay we will get the size of the vector okay so similarly uh, there is a we have to make a data structure to sum okay so what this data structure will be like we will make a uh, here we have a object of the type to sum so object so when we add in uh, something on object object dot add let's say four it will have that uh, four number okay and let's say object dot add one so it will also have one and when we uh, call object dot find like this find five let's say so it will uh, check internally that whether a uh, uh, two numbers exist whose sum is five if we get an answer as yes it will return true okay so we have to design this data structure so how can we design it okay so first thing i see is that I have to add numbers so what I will do is that in this uh, data structure on the global level I will uh, I will write a vector vector say int nums okay and I will uh, so this is uh, this will be my array or uh, vector and whenever a an, uh, number is added what I will do is that nums dot push underscore back uh, number okay so in this vector I will store all the numbers that are being added by calling the add method on this to sum object okay uh, now it has also been asked that uh, I should be able to tell whether a object exists or not like uh, two objects whose sum is equal to some number exist or not so what I will do is that I will make another uh, a map here so map int int mp okay so whenever uh, a number is added i will also add that number mp dot insert mm -hmm. it is just like the to some problem i will add that number number and also that numbers index so what will be the numbers index nums dot size minus one because that number is being added at the end of the uh, what uh, nums array okay and whenever the find method is called we have to find it okay so how can we find it we will uh, write a for loop for int i is equal to zero i less than nums dot size uh, i plus plus okay so uh, 
if mp dot count uh, let's say this is target so target minus nums i is equal to true and and mp and this uh, what i am doing is that uh, for example if we take this example 1354 i am basically uh, in the vector i am adding the numbers 135 okay and also in a map i am storing these numbers like 1 is at 0th index 3 is at uh, what second index 5 is at third index okay and whenever uh, a find method is called what i will do is that for example it is called find 4 okay so what i will do is that i will try to i will iterate through this array and in this map i will uh, find if 4 minus let's say 1 exist it does exist so i will return true uh, and if it didn't exist i will uh, keep on moving forward so this is what we are going to do so and remember the indexes shouldn't be same okay so i will write here mp target minus nums i is not equal to minus sorry is not equal to i uh, so that the two numbers are not the same number that is why this extra check has been added and if this is the case then i will return true and if this is not the case i will return false so the time complexity of this data structure the obviously this will be big o of one time and this one will be big o of n time complexity so now let's compile this code so you know internally what is happening is that once you have made this object this these two variables will be instantiated okay and whenever you call the add add function so it will add the number to this uh, nums uh, vector and also add the number and its index into the map object and uh, and whenever we you call the find method internally this for loop will run and it will return true or false okay this number is very large okay sorry this is my mistake i should have used long long method uh, long long uh, this can happen long long now i will submit it so it got accepted okay so like this these are the problems so it is understand it as this like two sum is a big data structure this is the data structure it has two methods find and add okay and you don't know anything the user will user has to use this data structure whenever he uh, uh, calls the add method you have to store that number and whenever he calls the find method you have to return uh, true or false whether a pair exists or not so this is the problem i hope it is clear to you and if it is clear to you do like the video and subscribe the channel okay bye